So guys, we have come a long way since those Destiny 1 days. I mean, wow, the journey has been a great one, with loads of ups and downs. Today I want to take a few minutes to talk to you about the future and why a change is seriously needed on my behalf. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So my beautiful people, today I talk about the future of my channel and why I have to in a way more or less move on from the games that seriously set me up. Now I know I'm going to get a little hate on this video, I know people won't like my life choices but at the end of the day that's exactly what this is, these are choices I've had to make which affect my life. I do YouTube for a living, this to many of you I guess is apparent, but as of right now, well from about a month back I'd say, maybe a little longer since Borderlands has gone to shit, views haven't been there, it doesn't matter what I do, what I post, the amount of time I spend creating content. The views are just not there, and although Destiny right now isn't exactly full of things to do and create content on, nor Borderlands, but in my opinion, even when they are, I still don't think they are for me anymore. I want a game to take me to that next level, I honestly feel that game is Cyberpunk 2077. I think I've earned as much as I'm gonna do and super appreciated of Borderlands and Destiny, especially Destiny, because that took me from what 550,000 subs up to about 950, which is growth unlike anything I've seen on my channel. Don't forget guys, I started in the early days 12 years ago with Call of Duty making emblems, I moved on to GTA, Watch Dogs, Ark, I mean I've posted just about everything, but Destiny was that big game for me after COD, but like I said I do feel and I'm so appreciative of what I've gained from Destiny, but I do think I've hit that limit and I don't think it will take me any further. And that's why I said, the next game I feel which will do that, the next chapter of my channel and life, I feel is Cyberpunk 2077. As over the past month I've posted somewhat 40 videos, videos I've spent tons of time on, videos on a game which isn't even out yet, just in reality in preparation of the release of the game on November 19th. And you know what, I've loved every second of content creation with this game on these videos. Something I haven't really felt since Destiny 2 since I lost my bungee bounty for the dumbest of reasons. And well it could have ultimately led to me just falling away from the game, but to be honest I never felt the same connection with Destiny 2 as I did with Destiny 1. And this is why as soon as another game came along, i.e. Borderlands 3, a game I knew and a game I knew I could do great videos on, I thought I'd just try my luck. And it worked for a while. The Borderlands 3 community for the most part besides a few sorted content creators who don't like me pissing up their fences, but for the most part the BR3 community is amazing and I've had a blast. My discord is alive and kicking thanks to Borderlands 3. But if I'm honest with you and the reason I'm making this video, I do feel these games coming to an end on my channel, especially BR3. The only thing that's kept me active on this game over the past couple of months is modded weapons for fuck's sake. I mean DLC 5 and 6 are coming and I owe it to you guys who are here for BR3 to cover it, so that will be covered. Destiny and Beyond Light will also be covered too, but depending on how they go I might just stop with them all together and concentrate on what I am currently loving right now and that is Cyberpunk. I mean you guys may remember the early days of both Destiny 1 and BR3, nobody could touch me in terms of pushing out that content you wanted to see especially Destiny 1. I went from the bottom to the top in a couple of months because I was just dedicated to creating videos. And this is the effort I'm going to put into Cyberpunk for sure. I've already started doing it, the game ain't even out yet. And like I said, I've created close to 40 videos in a month on Cyberpunk with some of the most in-depth guides on what this game is and offers. And even though those views at the minute are absolutely terrible, it isn't the point right now. But if you do want to check them out, the playlist will be pinned at the top of that comments section if you want to see for yourselves. But it is something I'm excited for and like I said, I can't survive on Destiny and BR3 anymore. I need that next chapter of my life because I have mouths to feed and at the end of the day, I gotta do what I gotta do. So yes people, I wanted to give you as a heads up as I think I do owe it to you. And because you've probably noticed a little more yellow around the place with neon lights around here and there, it's because I'm transitioning to Cyberpunk 2077. Now for now I won't start BR3 or Destiny 2. I will wait to see what they offer. I mean you never know, Destiny 2 may be great on my channel again. I may find that spark I once had and start pushing out decent content. BR3 the same but only time will tell. But as of right now, I got a feeling inside of me it just won't go that way. But we will see people, we will see. 
I could easily cover all three, but if the support ain't there, tell me people, what's the point? So yes guys, I do want to thank you for the support over the years, and I do hope we can at some time in the future meet again, all enjoying the same game. On that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully I will see you on that next one, whether it be BR3 Destiny or Cyberpunk.